How's it going everybody? Ralph here with uh, Gone Fishing Colorado and today I want to talk about the, the non-slip knot and it's the primary knot that I use on my streamer rigs. Um, the reason for this knot is it adds this little bit of an extra loop here at the end which gives us a lot of play. And uh, let me zoom that camera in, I'll show you guys how to tie this knot as well as uh, the positive aspects of it and maybe just one or two downfalls that uh, I've noticed with this knot. Alrighty guys, so get this unhooked. Alright, so here's our knot. And uh, with that being said, it's already tied on there. Let's clip that off real quick. Okay. There we go. And now the first thing we're gonna want to do is we're gonna take the tag end of our leader or uh, any fly line or fishing line that we're trying to connect this fly to. And we're gonna first make a little bit of a loop in, in that line, just like so, okay? Just a nice little loop. And I want that about five to six inches above the end of your line, which is where my left hand's holding right here. Okay, five, six inches above. And make that loop maybe half a centimeter wide in diameter. Then let's take our tag end of our line and we're gonna feed that through the eye of our hook, okay? Now once that's fed through, what I want is that loop that little loop that we just created to end up about an inch, three-fourths of an inch above the eye, and I'm gonna take that line and I'm gonna feed it back through, okay? I'm gonna be left with something like this, okay? Now, the next goal is to grab where that loop is right here, okay? Grab where that loop is and hold everything together. Now, take your tag end, which is this tag end, and start wrapping that above where you're holding. And I'm gonna do six, seven wraps, whatever grandpa taught you. I've never noticed a big difference between six or seven wraps, I'll be honest. Um, I try to do seven, because that's what my grandpa taught me. So after those seven wraps, okay, we're left with this. And now what we need to do is we need to take this tag end that we have right here, okay? Take that tag end, feed it back through this little loop, like so, okay? Grab it and tighten everything together, like so. Oh, that's a beautiful knot. There we go. And we're fishing, all right? Let me snip off this tag end right here. Oop. Tighten that up a little bit more. And I like to actually go inside of this knot right here, you guys, and do like a reverse pressure on it and pull outward on it as well. So I bring this anything inside the loop Okay, like so. And now what I'm gonna do is pull out and just really tighten that up, okay? That's kind of my preferred, you know, I'd say that's almost an inch, not quite an inch above the eye of the hook, my knot, and that's about the play that I want. So let's talk about why I like this knot. This is why. It's gonna give a lot more play, you guys. This is really gonna swivel around in here and really make this fly look natural. What I don't like is it does make this fly look very natural, but with these double articulated, I notice it happening a little bit more often than not. This hook comes around the front end and gets wrapped up like so. And that's a problem, you guys. Okay, you won't notice this sometimes, and even me guiding, um, I guess we'll be casting that for, you know, five, six casts, and I'm like, wait a second, that doesn't look right. Let's switch up that fly. So be very... Uh, not switch up the fly, but fix that. So being cautious of that with the double articulate and bring that around the back, okay? Besides that, you guys, it's an absolutely amazing knot. It's definitely caught me more fish. Um, and it's something that I, that I highly recommend to every fly fisherman's uh, arsenal of knots. The three knots that I use on a daily basis, you guys, is the reverse clinch knot, the blood knot, and this knot. With those three knots, I can fish almost anywhere for any type of fish. Um, there's a lot of other knots I have in my arsenal as well. However, 
at the end of the day, these are really the three primary knots that I need. Um, I hope this video helps somebody. I appreciate you guys watching. Please subscribe and uh, we'll keep producing videos um, on how to tie knots, how to cast, and anything else that uh, somebody might need, uh, need a little bit of help with in the fly fishing community. Well, I hope this not helps somebody. Uh, please subscribe. Um, well, I hope this not helps somebody. Please subscribe and as well, um, comment below if you have any questions. This is the no slip knot. Um, I think it's also referred to as the cray knot if I'm not mistaken. And uh, this is Roth with Gone Fish in Colorado. Thank you very much for watching.